Do you think the the pressure to be a certain thing or seeing a certain type of material, do you think that's especially true for female artists still and when they have an opinion about who they want to be it I, gets held against them because they have an opinion while female i and think more so <laughs> yes i really not. think if you're female you're not you're not supposed to have that opinion and i think for the males too i think well now looking back i understand it it's a product and we're selling this product and so for me it was my life it yeah. wasn't a product, about a product. I didn't understand that. And I, I look at that. Those years were my musical college years. There were five years that I did a couple of country albums and working with the best of the best. And I appreciate all of the great things that, that they did for me. They, they educated me and, and helped me in my career yet today, you know, everything. Um, but, um, and I forgot where I was going. What was the question? <laughs> I got off track. Yes. Oh, that's why it's a product. And it's what they think that they perceive the product to be. You know, it's all been with with the. It's become so. It's a dictatorship, and they're going to dictate. And I guess I think you just have to realize that. And if you're willing to do that, then that's okay. If you're not, you know, you may yeah. want to pursue a different, a different <laughs> career, and, which is what I ended up doing. You know, an independent I, artist. And yeah. You can keep doing your own thing and accept that you're not going to be Garth Brooks, but you'll right. get to hold on to the thing that you it is that you want to do you're not going to achieve that level of success but you'll have the happiness so. well i and i think i have the best of both worlds my husband and i talked about this is that you know there with that with that extreme superstardom you, there you make a lot of sacrifices that you can't dolly parton can't go to the mall i really like going and walking to the mall or having a meal without somebody going you know hey can i can I get you to sign this or can I get yeah. a picture even though you're still, I mean, I've experienced that, but um, there is a, there is a very fine line, I think, between that. So, and yes, and we, we appreciate that. We go, wow, we have really do have the best of both worlds. We have a, a record uh, setting tour schedule and, you know, we get to do this and they attain that success. But not to the degree of, and I think where you what, lose your, your you, life. You do, yeah. You've lost everything, and I think the Dixie Chicks were a, a very prime example. I watched, I read an article about them saying how they, because uh, they downsized at one point, because they said they were basically working to pay for all of the trucks that were out there and all of the yeah. the audio visual equipment. And there reaches a point; it's so big um, that you're paying for all this stuff to to attain all this. But it's not, it's, you have to once again fold it up because it's not a smart budgeting decision for you. And so you yeah. have to, I guess, weigh that, you know, and at some point, you know, they always say what goes up, what must come down. So there has to be that. And I think too, being able to, you reach that pinnacle and are you going to just, are you going to, you know, hang in there or are, you know, it's like, if I can't have this. I'm not going to do it at all. And that some people choose that too. Yes. If I cannot have, the you know, the, the, the big, big lives, stage, so, you know, yeah. I love performing it. And it doesn't matter if I'm here, you know, at the Grand Ole Opry or if I'm at home getting to perform for the folks at the nursing home. You know, I, I enjoy singing and performing and my happiness comes from that. Yeah.